azygous and hemiazygous veins. In this topic, we will be discussing the formation, course, termination, and tributaries of the azygous system of veins. The azygous system of veins consists of the azygous, hemiazygous, and accessory hemiazygous veins. These veins lie anterior to the thoracic part of the vertebral column and play an important role in the venous drainage of the thorax. Azygous vein. The azygous vein is present only on the right side in the upper part of the posterior abdominal wall and the posterior mediastinum. It connects the inferior vena cava with the superior vena cava. It is provided with valves and may appear tortuous. Functions of the azygous vein are as follows. It drains venous blood from the thoracic wall and upper lumbar region. It forms an important collateral channel connecting the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava. Formation. The formation of the azygous vein is variable. It is formed in one of the following ways. It may be formed by the union of the right subcostal and right ascending lumbar veins at the level of the 12th thoracic vertebra. It may arise from the posterior aspect of the inferior vena cava near the renal veins. It may also extend as a continuation of the right subcostal vein. Course and termination. After formation, the azygous vein ascends up and leaves the abdomen by passing through the aortic opening of the diaphragm and enters the posterior mediastinum. There, it ascends vertically lying in front of the vertebral column, up till the level of the fourth thoracic vertebra, where it arches forwards above the hilum of the right lung to terminate in the superior vena cava at the level of the second coastal cartilage. Relations. Anteriorly, it is related to the right edge of the esophagus. Posteriorly, the lower eight thoracic vertebrae and right posterior intercostal arteries. To the right, the right lung and pleura and the greater splanchnic nerves. To the left, the thoracic duct, descending thoracic aorta and the right border of the esophagus. Tributaries. The tributaries of the azygous vein are as follows. Lower seven right posterior intercostal veins except the first. Right superior intercostal vein. Hemiazygous vein. Accessory hemiazygous vein. Right subcostal vein. Right bronchial vein. Right ascending lumbar vein. Esophageal veins, with the exception of those at its lower end, mediastinal veins, and pericardial veins. Clinical correlation. In a case of obstruction of the superior vena cava, it serves as the main collateral channel to shunt the blood from the upper half of the body to the inferior vena cava. Hemiazygous vein. The hemiazygous vein lies only on the left side and corresponds to the lower part of the azygous vein. Formation. The hemiazygous vein is formed on the left by the union of the left ascending lumbar vein and left subcostal vein. It may arise from the posterior surface of the left renal vein. Course and termination. It pierces the left crust of the diaphragm and ascends vertically in front of the left side of the vertebral column up till the level of the 8th thoracic vertebra. At the 8th thoracic vertebra, it turns to the right and crosses in front of the vertebral column, posterior to the aorta, esophagus, and thoracic duct to terminate into the azygous vein. Tributaries. The tributaries of the hemiazygous veins are as follows. Lower 3, that is 9th to 11th, left posterior intercostal veins. Left subcostal vein, left ascending lumbar vein, accessory hemiazygous vein. The accessory hemiazygous vein lies only on the left side and corresponds to the upper part of the azygous vein. Course and termination. 
The accessory hemiazygous vein begins at the medial end of the left fourth or fifth intercostal space and descends till the left side of the vertebral column. At the level of the eighth thoracic vertebra, it turns to the right and passes in front of the vertebral column, posterior to the aorta, esophagus, and thoracic duct to terminate into the azygous vein. Tributaries the following are the tributaries of the accessory hemiazygous vein. Fifth to eighth left posterior intercostal veins and occasionally left bronchial veins.